Okay, we've got it. Um, pastor, sometime even before he got sick, asked if I would uh, come and preach the first Sunday of the year. And I rarely turn down an opportunity to preach. And so uh, I, I already had one picked out. This one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I've got 15 minutes to preach it. Oh, boy. No pressure. <laughs> you know, this past year has really been something. You know, we were, uh, we were going to celebrate our 50th anniversary. And um, Cheryl had gone and uh, she'd lined, she'd lined uh, up music. We were going to sing. I had somebody else was going to sing of the family. Um, Stephanie was going to bake some cupcakes and stuff for us. Um, she even uh, had that presentation. You got to see the presentation. You know, she was going to let me preach. But she, she said, 20 minutes and that's it. And, uh, and, and she probably meant it too, but, you know, that didn't happen. So, but uh, unusual year. And I got to thinking, you know, this is a new year. What has changed? Um, what do we have to look forward to? And um, this passage of scripture was laid upon my heart. And what we're going to do is I actually, I, don't, I do not have a, a long message this morning. I really don't. Uh, we're going to read the entire chapter. And I only have two verses we're going to pick out of it. Okay. This is the Apostle Paul, and he's writing to believers at Philippi. And this is what he says in chapter number 3. He says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Uh, the, the, the word dogs isn't referring to the little pets that we have. It's a reference to people who are against God. Okay, to wicked people. That's what it's a reference to. For we are of the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ and be found in him not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith." that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, neither were already perfect, but I, allow, I, but I follow after that if I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same things. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as to have us for an example. 
For many walk of whom I told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Heavenly Father, once again, we come to you and we commit the next few minutes to you. May your word touch our hearts. And we'll give you praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. The two, the two verses that I want us to focus on and the whole thing is good I mean we could spend probably an hour an hour and a half just going verse by verse on this but the two that I want us to see are verse number 13 and number 14 it says brethren I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus The Apostle Paul, when he's writing this to the Philippians, tries to impart to them uh, the idea that we have something beyond this flesh that we must live up to. We saw in verses number four on where Paul talks about himself. And he had a lot that he could boast about. He, you know, he, 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 was, he was circumcised the eighth day like the Jews were supposed to be. He was of the stock of Israel. He was of the tribe of Benjamin, which was one that, uh, that stayed with, with, with David uh, during the split. Uh, he, was a, he was a Pharisee. That means a religious leader. Uh, he persecuted the church. I mean, in other words, he was zealous for God in that respect. Uh, he had all those things, but he said, that, that means nothing. Anything that I would have gained, I counted as loss just to be able to know Jesus Christ. The emphasis that he puts on this is so intense. He said, I'd rather forget everything, everything that I am and everything that I've experienced just to know Jesus Christ. And that's what we ought to be. That ought to be the goal that we have for 2021 is to know our Savior and know him in depth and let him uh, rule in our hearts, reign in our lives. But then he goes on and he, and he, and he, and he says this. He says he, he's not arrived. Okay, have you, ever, have you ever had that? Have you ever done it or have you ever said it yourself or known somebody who says, well, I finally arrived. I finally made it. Paul says, no, I haven't arrived. I'm not perfect. And none of us are. I'm not perfect. Just ask my wife. She'll tell you. I, I, I try to make you think I am, but she, ask her. She'll tell you, uh, I've got a lot of flaws. Okay, and um, matter of fact, when, when I look in the mirror, I say, who are you? Okay, you know. But um, he says, I've not, I've not arrived yet, but he's still traveling. You know, we sing that song, you know, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. And how true it is. Boy, this last year was a horrible year. I hope we don't have to go through another one just like it. But I'm just a pilgrim passing through. This world is not my home. And even if it becomes another 2020, God forbid it doesn't. But even if it did, I'm just a pilgrim passing through. This world's not my home. This, the, 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 the president, whoever winds up being in the White House, is not my king, is not my God. Jesus is. And that's the one I'm keeping my eye on. And he says, I've not apprehended, uh, but this one thing I do, I forget those things are behind. So there are some things that we need to forget. Okay, what are some of the things we need to forget? Well, it'd be nice if we could forget the phrase COVID-19. That would be nice if we could forget that, but I don't think the media is going to let us. They're going to keep throwing that back at us. Um, I'd like to forget, uh, you know, some of the some of the uh, the, the riots and the non peaceful um, protests. I'd like to forget those. Those would be good to forget. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I some of you, you know, you you you've had some sicknesses. Uh, I know Brother Dan would like to forget falling off a bicycle. 
Okay, uh, he'd like to forget that. I know Brother Green, uh, bro Brother Dave Green, he'd, he'd probably like to forget falling down and breaking his hip uh, right after he just got out of the hospital from COVID-19 and then he fell, fell down and broke his hip. I'm sure that he'd like to forget that. There's other things. People that have lost their jobs, they'd probably like to forget that. But what Paul is saying is, you know, the things that happened in the past are in the past. And we can't live in the past. We can't, as believers, we can't be looking what happened in 2020 and let that drag us down because we have a greater hope. Our hope is not in the new government. Our hope is not in a vaccine that's coming along. Our hope is not in any of those things. Our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ in His return. That's where our hope is. And that's what we have to keep going. That's what he says here. I'm leaving those things that are behind and I'm reaching forward to those things that are before. What are some of the things that are before? Well, I think for 2020, uh, I think our faith should be stronger. Our reading of God's word should be more intense. Our prayer should be uh, 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 greater than it was before. Our fellowship with one another should be uh, more than what it was before. Uh, it, you know, we should be a closer knit church than what we were before. 2021 should be a better year than last year. Can you say amen? amen? Okay. Our attitudes can be better than it was last year. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Our service for God should be better than what it was last year. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. And we could go on and on and on and on. And that's what Paul says. I forget those things that are behind and I'm looking forward to things that are before. And then he says, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The word press is the important word that's in there. He puts an effort. He puts an effort. You know, we just sang the song uh, or we just heard the song, I am resolved. That's a decision that was made. Okay. Uh, resolve to live for God. Uh, in the adult Bible class, we're, we're, uh, we're uh, studying the book of Daniel. We're in the ninth chapter. By the way, I would challenge any one of you to go and read the ninth chapter of the book of Daniel and read the prayer that Daniel had for his, himself and his people. Very, very strong prayer that would be appropriate for today. Uh, but uh, at the beginning of the book of Daniel, Daniel, it says, purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself. He made a conscious decision that he was going to keep himself for God. And that's what we need for 2021. Each and every one of us, we need to make a conscious commitment that we're going to be stronger for God than what we were in 2020. That we're going to be praying more to the Lord than what we were in 2020. That we're going to read more of the Word of God than what we did in 2020. That we're going to be better witnesses than what we were in 2020. That we're going to learn to give uh, uh, more than what we did in 2020. That we're going to be uh, more behind our church and more faithful to church than what we were in 2020. Pressing for the mark. Because when we do the things for God from the heart, because we're, we, we do it from the Spirit, there's always a prize and there's always a blessing for God. And, and, and uh, now, with, with that thought in mind, and one of the reasons why I did what I did this morning is number one, we needed the prayer. And we need, you know, we need to start praying more. And I don't think as a church we pray enough. And I think we need to start praying more. Uh, but uh, uh, some things, that, you know, but as far as the testimonies, why I wanted testimonies, God was good this past year, in spite of everything that went on, in spite of the fact, you know, we couldn't go to our favorite restaurant. Boy, I miss that. Oh, I really miss that. When we had our, you know, we didn't get to have our 50th anniversary, so, uh, but we still had, uh, we still had, uh, someone gave us a, a, a card for Sizzlers, and I love Sizzlers. We had to go up to Auburn to go to Sizzlers uh, because ours was closed. And we got up there, and one of the things they didn't have, when we go, which is a rarity, we always, we always get, you know, whatever the steak is or whatever. And uh, my wife can tell you exactly what I'll order because I order it practically every time. But we always get the all-you-can-eat salad bar, Okay. Now, the reason why we do that is, man, their salads are awesome. They've got everything you can think of. Plus, they, you know, plus they have uh, you know, tacos. They've got uh, fried chicken. 
Uh, they've got onion rings. Uh, they got soups to go along with it, desserts. Well, we always get that, and that's what we eat. And then we take the, sto the, the steaks home, and that way we've got a twofer, a two-for-one. And we get the, the two, twice. And I missed I miss that when we weren't getting up there, and now we miss it. The place is all closed. I miss not being able to go to a restaurant. How about you? Are you hungry? About the best we can do a drive through now, you know, and that's about the best we can do. I miss that. I miss being able to uh, just go wherever I want to, Praise God that the Lord let us keep our church together. And, you know, you know I'm praising. I'm like with Sister um, Green. I, I praise the Lord that sitting at home, seeing your faces on the computer just doesn't cut it. I'm sorry. It doesn't cut it at all. I like to see you face to face. And uh, I'm so glad that God allows us. To, you know, that's one of God's blessings. That's one of God's blessings. We have been touched with the coronavirus in our church, but it's been, it's been a God's blessing. Uh, Brother Dave brought it through. Brother Dan, they brought it through. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Pastor and Bernie were exposed, but they haven't got sick. Let's keep on praying that they won't. They got two more days, three more days to get through. But, uh, you know, those are things we don't want to forget. We don't want to forget God's blessings, but everything else, forget and look forward to what we can do for God. What can we do for the Lord? What can we do for the Lord? Well, there's nothing impossible. There's nothing impossible for the Lord. You can be what God wants you to be. You just got to decide you're going to do it. You got to make that commitment in your heart and in your mind. I press forward for the mark, for the prize of the calling of God. And then we get to the last verse. Okay, and it says, our last two verses, it says, Our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's where our, our eyes should be. Boy, this, this past election and what's going on, I, you know, I've got to the point, I don't even like listening to the news because it just, it's depressing. But I'm going to put that behind me and just going to say, I'm going to look forward because that's not where we are. We're looking not to who's going to be in the White House. We should be looking for who's going to be split in the sky. Right. Amen? Amen? Wouldn't it be great if the Lord came back this year? It'd be awesome. Okay? We do it all. He could. We look at the signs and we see what the scripture says. And it, this could be the year. I mean, everything kind of, you know, fits kind of what the scriptures say. This could be the year. I want to be ready when that happens. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for a hole in the ground. I'm looking for a hole in the sky. Amen. 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 He says, that's what we're looking for. We're looking forward. We're looking to the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile bodies. Oh, boy. How many of you have noticed that your mind has been making appointments that your body can't keep? Yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to the day that this body shall change. Now, I may, I may wind up going into the hole in the ground. But that's not, where, that's not my final resting place. I'm going to be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. I'm going to be, if, I, if that's where I go, I'll be, I'll be rising up with a new body. But if I'm still here when the Lord comes back, I'm going to get a new one. Isn't that going to be great? I can throw my glasses away. I don't have to worry about the aches and the pains and the failures that the body just said, nope, you're not going to do that this week. I don't have to worry about that. that. That's, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that coming, the Lord Jesus Christ, who can change our vile bodies and fashion them into a glorious body according to his work and is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Our God is still in control. Let us not be discouraged in 2021 about what happened in 2020. Let's be encouraged because our God is still in control. He can change what he needs to change. He can help us go through whatever we need to go through. And if we keep our eyes on him, this year will be a blessing too because God will still bless us. Keep looking forward to the Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness. We're so thankful for your goodness. 
And Heavenly Father, help us to forget the things that are the failures and, and all the nastiness that went on in the past. Heavenly Father, help us to put that behind us and help us to keep looking forward and keep looking up and keep anticipating your return. Bless us now, Lord, and we'll give you praise for it in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen. Amen.